Today, I'm going to show you how to check your service break. Before you get started though, check your operation and maintenance manual for proper safety procedures and always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Prepare your equipment for service. Remember that safety is key during all maintenance procedures. If your equipment moves while testing the brake, reduce engine speed and engage the parking brake. Make sure manual steering is enabled so you can shift out of neutral. Now, run at low idle to charge the service brake accumulators. They're charged once the indicator goes off. Start the engine and raise your implement slightly. Apply the service brake and then release the parking brake. Make sure your transmission is in manual mode and shift to gear 2F with the service brake still applied. Gradually increase to high idle. Your machine should not move. You're done testing service brake hold, so you can return to low idle and shift to neutral. Engage the parking brake, lower your implement to the ground, and stop the engine. If the machine moved during the test, consult your CAT dealer for a brake inspection. You'll need to make any necessary repairs before operating it again. You'll need another person to help you check service brake wear. Ask them to depress the service brake while you're checking brake wear under the machine. Remove the service brake indicator cap. Cap location varies, so check your OMM to see where it is on your equipment. Push the wear indicator pin until it touches the brake piston. If you can still see the indicator or its tip, you have enough brake life. You may want to ask your CAT dealer about accessing the brake test and adjust section in SYS 2.0. A mobile app called sys to go is also available in some countries. Now you can put the cap back on and get back to work. For more information and support, contact your CAT dealer and always check your operation and maintenance manual for specific instruction and safety procedures.